All right, in this video, we are going to be discussing Lua tables and how we use them in NeoVim and other places. Now, first of all, Lua tables are the only data structure in Lua. They're used for everything, dictionaries, lists, graphs, etc. And tables are created via an expression. It's similar to the object literal syntax in JavaScript. Now, tables only exist as long as there is a reference. After that, it gets garbage collected. And it's important to note that Lua table indexes are one based to where we're used to everything being zero based. And also NeoVim bundles Lua 5.1. There's a ton of discussion on that out on the repository, but it's okay if you have a different version on your system because NeoVim bundles its own version, but it is on 5.1. So let's take a look at a table here. Now, this is just showing the mode that we're in, which is N and it's not blocking. Now let's take a look at the list of buffer handles. All right, and you can see this is just all the numbers that are the buffer handles. Let's start to go through some code here and populate a key maps table. And this is how it's done in telescope to populate the key map picker. Now, I only have telescope mappings for normal mode, but we'll still go through all the modes just to show you how this works. If you want to know about pairs and I pairs, a great place to look is the Roblox Lua tutorial, but basically it's key value pairs and I pairs is key value pairs also where the key is an index. We also have table manipulation. So these are associative functions for insert and other operations that you want to do to a table. Now I don't have any buffer scoped telescope mappings, but we'll go through that too, because you might want those. And so we'll be looping through those pairs as well. Okay. And then after we get all of the mappings that are in my configs, then I'm going to filter them out so that I just get the telescope key maps. And so I'll filter them out by just looking for the string telescope. So let's take a look here at the right hand side of these particular maps as they're being filtered. And you can see that these are my telescope maps and these are located in Lua Joel telescope mappings in what's that smell dots. So you can grab those there if you see anything interesting. All right. So now we'll take a look at the filtered table of telescope key maps. All right, and you can see here in our notification history, those are our two older notifications and here they all are. And you can see they have many different keys and what they do, and these are all telescope. Now, if you wanna see how I'm using these nice notifications, here I've created this DN global function that uses NVIM and Notify. And you should check out NVIM Notify. It is awesome. You can do all kinds of stuff with it and give yourself some nice debugging output. Printing out to the console is fine, but NVIM notification is real nice. Okay. And so now we see that we have our old notifications in there. We'll go ahead and clear our notification history. All right, let's make sure it's cleared. Okay, good, nothing in there. All right, now let's run this. All right, and I'm hitting a key map to run this. And then we look at the notification history and you see there are all my key maps. And you can find all these shortcuts and everything else in the what's that smell dots repo. All right, and here we can see the right hand side of these things showing all the key maps that are in there, not just telescope. So that's how we were able to search for and filter out. And you can look at the help for Lua table specifically for NeoVim. 
There's also a ton of content out there. As I say, Roblox has some great Lua resources, obviously the official Lua documentation and the NeoVim docs have great stuff as well. I really appreciate those generous Brave Rewards tips. Please like and subscribe. I thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time with more outstanding content.